not the last chance saloon yet, certainly for Al Nasser, but it's starting to look like, well, it is a fact, isn't it? This is the only chance of a trophy now, the league title, and already they are relying on other results going their way between now and the end of the season. Knocked out of the King's Cup semi-finals four days ago, 1-0 loss to Al Weda, and they were knocked out of the Super Cup back in January. So for Al Nasser, Cristiano Ronaldo's side, it's the league title or nothing. Games like these that you have to win on paper, this should favour Al Nasser. But there have been some lacklustre performances in the last couple of weeks. A good one tonight, a good win in fact. Which certainly quiet some criticism, which is starting to echo around the Al Nasser fan base. It's a good chance tonight to answer some of the critics perhaps. Oh, now down the other end, a good chance for Al Nasser to get in here. Straight in on goal as well, yeah, yeah. Danger's not over. Clipped over the top, Ronaldo! Three minutes and 30 seconds, and Cristiano Ronaldo is back on the score sheet for Al Nasser. A mix up at the back there that allowed Yaya to get in with the ball. The clearance didn't go too far, and he went as far as Al Ganam. Lovely little dinked cross, and well, that's the head you want to be there to finish it off. Cristiano Ronaldo puts his side ahead. A sigh of relief already going round the King Saud University Stadium. Goal for Al Nasser. He's had to do well as, as well. Came in for David Ospina with his long term elbow injury and could be in here for another goal. Oh, and it's just skipped past the left hand post. I wonder if the flag was up anyway. Lovely bit of work. Al Hassan made the run and he was offside as the ball was played through. Finds himself in trouble. Oh, he's still got the ball. He's done really well. Al Hassan now for Al Nasser. Ronaldo. Hassan made the run, but the pass didn't come yet. Yaya. This time the cross goes over. Ronaldo went for the bicycle kick. You could see what he was thinking as he turned his back towards the goal. Deseri was in the way. Lovely back heel, and they could be in here again. The ball over the face of the goal. Nobody attacking it at that point. Ali Hassan thought somebody would just get a forehead on it. That would have been number two. And now a bit of a breakaway. Fuzer has got Tavares for support. It's about as close as they've got to the penalty area, but they have won a free kick. Gonzalez penalised. He's, well, as you can see, not agreeing with the referee. Fazer kind of ran into him, really. It is Matrita. Oh, he's had a go at goal. Well, the goalkeeper, casual with his first attempt to stop it, and then suddenly realised there was a black shirt very close to him and had to slap it out the way to beat the uh, offside trap, it's not working, but Ronaldo has here, could go around the goalkeeper for his second one, he's gone too wide, needs support to someone to finish it off, oh, straight over the bar. I think that would have been pulled back for offside as well. Goalkeeper did well, just pushed Ronaldo out wide, and by the time he got to the byline, turned and looked for support, Al Hassan was there, but he was under too much pressure to keep it down keep the title race alive. Off we go then. The second half here at Al Awal Park, the King Saud University Stadium. Al Nasser in there. Yellow and blue now kicking from right to left. Al Red in there. Away black strip from left to right. Conan penalised early for his tackle on Fouzer. 
plenty of targets to aim for. In comes the delivery. Oh, it's a good hit as well, and that was the perfect delivery. And straight away in the second half, El Bakari has the best opportunity Al Rayed have fashioned in this match so far. Delicious delivery. It's Luis Gustavo on the left hand side. He's going to cross it over Ronaldo at the back post, heads it down. Somebody's going to take a shot here. Surely that's going to be goal number two, and it is. Had to be Garib had all the time in the world to put the ball on his right foot, pick his spot and tuck it away. It's Gustavo's cross originally. Ronaldo heads it down. Garib just comes inside, sends the goalkeeper and the defender to the turf. He couldn't really do anything with it. Saw Garib all on his own. Comes inside, tucks it away nicely. Garib, rather. Now, straight away, the substitutes into the fray here. Down the other end, has a shot at the near post. Saved. Fires the ball through, that's terrific to Garib. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper coming inside, trying to get his second goal. Good save that time, good block. The danger not over, though. Back to Ronaldo, can he get a shot away? Perhaps that moment has just passed. Salayam and Masharipov. Ronaldo laying it off to Salayam. And now into the box here, nobody's challenging him. Ronaldo, oh, he's missed. Perhaps there was a, a save by the goalkeeper that I haven't spotted instantly. Ganam here, right to the byline. Oh, there was, there was a block there. That's a great ball through the middle. Gustavo twisting and turning. Now it'll be a cross, so it's a good header. And it's over the top. Just timed his jump, jump and his run. Just a bit too early, I think. Sharipov so staying on this left-hand side for a little while. Shrugs off one tackle into the penalty box. Can he get a cross in? He can! And there's the third goal! And that wraps it up, the substitute, Mohamed Manan, 3-0 and three points. It's close, isn't it, the ball to Masharipov, and you have to give Shaladin Masharipov full credit here. Thought he'd lost the ball, went back to get it, gets himself to the byline, drags it back, nobody marking, but um, at all, well, he won't score many simpler goals than that. Great work from Masharipov from Uzbekistan. VAR is still checking though, just to see if he was slightly off when the ball was played to him. Moran will be hoping it, he wasn't. Salehim, he's got Masharipov ahead of him and Ronaldo. Here's Masharipov, Salehim with the attempt. Oh, what a goal to finish off. Wonderful stuff. And it's four. Majid Salayam. Here he is now, gets, passes it to Masharipov, gets the ball back, and that is sublime stuff. There were a couple of shots in that opening half, but nothing really for Al Red tonight. They'll go back with nothing for Al Nasser. Back to winning ways finally. Cristiano Ronaldo opened the scoring on the for his 12th of the season after four minutes. Karib doubled the lead. Ten minutes into the second half, Mohamed Maran made it 3 0 on 89 minutes, and Abdul Rahman Salayam saved the best till last with his beautiful right footed effort into the top corner with 94 minutes on the clock. They still have a lot to do between now and the end of the season, and they need Al Itihad to slip up. But for now, Al Nasser can only keep winning, and they've done it tonight.